I'm Lana. And I'm Casey. And this is Percy, Brody, Billy, and Sophie. And we are Class C Broads. The sunrise you just saw was courtesy of Three Flags RV Park outside of Rapid City, South Dakota in Blackhawk, South Dakota. The RV park isn't just sunrises and puppy dogs though. So stick around and we'll give you the upsides and the downsides of staying at this park. When we were looking for an RV park near Rapid City, we had two main qualifications, location and price. Yeah, we weren't planning on spending a whole lot of time at the RV park during our one week stay in the area. Instead, we had plans to go visit the Badlands, Walt Drug, we've got a separate video on that. And then we were also gonna spend a lot of time in the Black Hills area, doing Mount Rushmore, a Crazy Horse Memorial, we were going to bike the Mickelson Trail, and again we've got yet another video on that. So what we needed was basically a functional RV park that had a good central location and was as cheap as it could be. With full hookups. Correct. And that's why we found Three Flags. It, it checked our boxes. That's so the location is obviously great because the RV park is centrally located. There are some, you know, potential downsides to the location as well. One is that you have to take about a half mile dirt gravel road into the park. We didn't have any trouble with that, but you know, if it was super rainy out or something like that, it might present some difficulty. The other pseudo downside to the location is that it is pretty close to the highway and also next to some train tracks. Now, we didn't have any trouble with noise or anything like that, but if you are a light sleeper, just keep that consideration in mind in terms of figuring out whether you would want to stay there. And also there aren't any trees. So if you're looking for some shade and you want to hang out outside during the middle of the day when it's 90 degrees, it's probably not your best spot. Yeah, and because of that, it can also get super windy around that area yes. too. So I would keep your awning in most days when you're at the park. If you have kids, this probably isn't the best place for you because there's nothing for them to do. I mean, granted, they could ride their bike around in circles, <laughs> but there's no swimming pool or playground anywhere. Some of the pluses that we did like about the park in terms of basic amenities, there was a laundry facility there and I did laundry there one day. There's also a shower house. I didn't use it, but it looked very, you know, nice, well kept. So some basic amenities at the park. And Wi-Fi, they have Wi-Fi and it was decent. The RV park boasts 41 full hookup pull through sites that have 20, 30 and 50 amp sewer and water connections. There are also some tent sites that have a, an awning with some light and 20 amp. And then there are just some grassy areas for just no hookups. And I think that's mostly for when Sturgis is happening and that's more for overflow. Um, we have plenty of room to spread out the sites are quite long. Uh, we could park our RV and our car and whatever else behind it. We saw uh, quite a few really large rigs there. Yeah, and the sites were all nice and level. Um, it's basically what you want as a site in an RV park. Right. We didn't realize one of the upsides before we got there. And that was amazing barbecue just down the street. Yeah, the little joint called JR's Roadhouse. And we're from the Kansas City area originally, and they think they have good barbecue there. But JR is going to give them a run for their money. It was amazing. You should check it out if you're in the area. 
like a lot of parks, Three Flags does have a lot of rules and regulations. I'm one of those people who actually read those. And I was a little bit concerned because it mentioned some sort of designated pet area that I was never able to find. We ended up just walking our dogs around the big loop, which they absolutely love. Nobody got mad at us, called us out for anything like that. And they of course had plenty of space and grass to do their business. So good job, dogs. Yay, dogs. So what's the cost? Well, in the summer of 2021, when we stayed there, we paid a little over $200 plus tax for a week's stay. The important thing to know is they do give a discount of 35% off if you stay a week. So with the discount, it ended up costing us just a little over $30 per day, which is a great deal in my opinion. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us grow. And until next time, remember, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers. It's okay, Purse. It's okay park we had plans to go see the badlands the badlands <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't have anything that we didn't need like a swimming pool or a kids area right did it did have it swimming your... did it have dogs it had swimming? dog swimming in, in our rv <laughs>